like Art Carmody. Art Carmody, chairman of the Independence Bowl, joins the Patrick Netherton Show right now. Art, uh, you know, I know not the maybe the best of circumstances to chat with, but we know this is not a surprise. Uh, kind of walk us through uh, how all this went down. Yeah, well, always great talking to you, Patrick. And, uh, yeah, Roy Lang's wedding event was uh, phenomenal. Uh, golden Boss invitations that you and I received, only the finest. Right, uh, right. Golden Lang tickets like it, was will- like it was the Willy Wonka chocolate factory. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, but, no, th- you know, uh, first off, I just want to say Walk-Ons has been a fantastic um, title sponsor, and uh, and you're aware of this, but maybe not a lot of our uh, your listeners uh, are. But in 2017, I mean, we were – into October of the season without a title sponsor uh, for the game. And, and Walhawn stepped up. Uh, we had, you know, quick meetings with them, got it done very quickly, and they agreed to a three-year contract. Mm-hmm. Um, we had discussions with them about adding on uh, the additional two, uh, the option for the additional two, you know, in the event that they, um, you know, uh, based on their growth model as a company, if they wanted to uh, extend it going forward. And uh, they have upheld their end of the contract uh, to perfection and, and, you know, been hands-on and uh, created a lot of new opportunities for us during bowl week. So they've been exactly what you would want uh, out of a title sponsor. And, um, you know, unfortunately, they, uh, you know, they feel as a company and an organization that uh, they want to, you know, um, allocate their marketing dollars elsewhere as they continue to, uh, to grow across the country. And, you know, I'm in commercial bank, and I get that, understand that, and uh, wish them all the best going forward. Um, but, you know, it, it's not it's not a breakup. They're not going anywhere this year. We've got them for this year, and they are still hands-on and very excited about uh, the game this December. I, I'm curious, how much or, or do you even know, and I'm sure you've had some discussions, and, and you know, whatever you can reveal, you can reveal, but um, – how much did the, the, the ongoing conference affiliation issue have to do with their decision, or was this something they – a decision they had come to before that ever came up? Uh, well, they were involved – they've been involved with all the conference uh, negotiation discussions, so they know where we were, we were heading uh, uh, in a direction. But, you know, and obviously I'm not privy to their, um, their marketing meetings or right. where they're trying to allocate – uh, their dollars. I do know that they've got you know a firm they work with uh, that tells them you know kind of this is you know the uh, return on this investment and this is you know these are other options that uh, you know are available um, growing across the country and, and where you allocate you know these marketing for you know television spots and whatnot and you know they made the decision that's best for their company. Um, but I don't think that the uh, the conference um, negotiations had anything to do with it. Uh, I think, you know, we're, we're still working through that. We hope to have something more concrete uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, I think walk is excited about that for us. Um, but, uh, you know, this decision was made from a purely business standpoint. Is that something you mentioned the, in the coming weeks, you're hoping to have some announcement on the conference affiliation. Uh, just from a PR standpoint, Art, and, and obviously Eric and, and Missy, and that they do a great job with, with all of that on the media relations side, but do is there any sort of timing plan in terms of, hey, we, we know we're going to need to announce this, so let's announce it at this time, and then, okay, let's try to follow it up as quickly as we can with maybe some good news. Do, is there anything to that, or is it just it happens when it happens? No, it kinda, it, it, that's a good question, Patrick, and it kind of ha- it happened when it happened. This was, you know, uh, when they agreed that this, you know, they were not going to pick up uh, the Oscars year four and five, they got with us told us that information, but said, hey, we, we want to release this, you know, um, with you guys so that, you know, we can help with, with any, you know, um, future title sponsorship search uh, if they can, if they need to, you know, to talk about us, say good things about us, whatever. But this allows us to start the process of um, trying to find a uh, title sponsor for, you know, uh, year 2020 and beyond. Um, you know, as long as walk ons had that option, uh, we could not go out and, you know, pursue uh, another title sponsor or engage in any search firms to help us with that. Uh, now that this has been, you know, announced and released, this gives us the ability to, uh, you know, have those discussions and, and move forward with trying to find a new title sponsor. Talking to the chairman of the Independence Bowl, Art Carmody. All right, so now that it's been announced, you're moving forward. Is this a, you know, a contract a search firm, look at it? Is there, are there some, some folks kind of in your back pocket? What are you? What are you doing moving forward now that everything's released and you can start going at it? 
Yeah, absolutely. No, we have an executive committee meeting uh, on Monday at noon, and we will. This will be on the agenda, and uh, you know, I'm sure with this news, there will be uh, third party search firms that um, will reach out to to Missy uh, about uh, helping with that. Uh, and you know, there will probably be companies that will will make the phone calls and see, you know, what does that entail. And we will have a meeting Monday, and we'll discuss, you know, which route we want to take with that. All right, now you you. This is kind of a tough situation because you know you're moving on to a new title sponsor at some point, but you also have walk-ons for this year. As you mentioned, they're still heavily involved. Does that in any way change the dynamic of, uh, you know, maybe they throw out ideas and you say in the past two years ago, you might have said, yeah, it sounds great. Now you go, well, I don't know. You guys aren't going to be around next year. We don't have to do that. Does it change the dynamic at all when you're, you're dealing with them in terms of long-term planning for the bowl? No, not at this point. I mean, we're uh, we're into August. The season's about to start. You know, the date of our game's in place. We have the events um, that we know we can do based on the timing of when the teams are supposed to arrive and up to the game. Uh, Walk-ons is aware of that. Uh, obviously, you know, they will be here. They will have a great time, and they will, you know, um, champion our events that we're having. Um, but, no, I mean, obviously if they have, you know, recommendations on how to make those particular events a little better, absolutely. You know, they do a great job with their with their business. Of course we're going to, you know, entertain, um, you know, their thoughts. I mean, they're they're a great, uh, a great firm. They're great with marketing. Um, they're growing across the country. It would be dumb for us not to listen to any ideas that they would have to enhance those events. So, no, it won't be uh, an awkward uh, situation at all. Um, they will be great through this entire process. Uh, December 27th, do I need to go get some uh, some Krispy Kreme bread pudding and just throw it on the ground in protest? I mean, what what I need what do I need to do, Art? You tell me. Uh, just keep being awesome at what you do uh, <laughs> on the radio show and the voice of the, uh, the Northwestern Demons. And, uh, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing, man. By the way, I also got uh, got locked in officially doing PA for this year for the Independence Bowl as of this morning. So, well, yeah, well, those were, I know those negotiations were tense. Yeah. We were very concerned about well, that. Well, my agent was, uh, you know, he was playing hardball with everybody. He's, he's tough. Yeah. Uh, he would, I can attest to that. Yeah, he would uh, definitely making sure. All right, so uh, where are you in terms of conference affiliation now? You mentioned you hope to have something in the next couple of weeks. Do y'all, are y'all still working things out, or do you know what's going to happen? You're just waiting on the right time to release it. Yeah, it's funny, man. I, I I think every time I talk to you, I say the same thing over and over again. I'm like a broken record, and I just extend the timeline, right? Yeah. Extend the goal line. Uh, but, you know, I can confidently say at this point that I believe that we have the structure in place um, for the next six years. There are letters of intent that have been sent out and that we're still, you know, we're waiting uh, for those to come back. But those discussions have, have taken place. We think that it's, you know, ready to go. We're just waiting for all the uh, I's to be dotted and T's to be crossed to where we can formally announce it. You know, all, all parties involved from, you know, the conferences to television partners kind of have to be on board with it, and uh, we think we're at that point. You, uh, by the way, Rogers reacted to you saying six years, but that's the bowl cycle is, is yes. six years, right? Yes, correct. Um, all right, so now that you kind of are, are working on this, this framework, kind of have it in place, um, do you want to just go ahead and tell us who it is or you know, <laughs> no, not so much. You know, no, I, wish, I, I, wish, I you know, I wish I could, man, I know, but, I know, uh, I know. you know, I love you, brother. I love you, brother. Um, by the man. way, how your, uh, how your Cardinals going to look this year? Uh, you know what? I will say this. I, I, Scott Satterfield has done a great job coming in and, um, setting the expectations and setting the bar kind of low. Uh, which uh, I think is a good thing. Um, their their schedule so tough. They've got Notre Dame to open the season on Monday night, uh, opening weekend, Labor Day weekend. They've got um, you know Clemson, Florida State uh, on the schedule. They go to Miami late in the year. Kentucky has been good uh, lately. I mean that's just you know five teams right there that are tough. As well as you know Virginia has shown improvement. I mean some people have picked them to win the Coastal. Uh, so it's going to be a tough, uh, a tough year, but if there's a guy that can handle it, it's Scott Satterfield. What he did at Appalachian state was remarkable, taking mm-hmm. them from, you know, the FCS level to the FBS level, uh, and winning, you know, what, two Sunbelt, correct me if I'm wrong, but two Sunbelt, uh, titles in a row and, you know, building a roster from the ground up. And, uh, you know, I think he's going to do that at Louisville and, uh, you know, they're giving him the time to do that. 
Speaking of your Louisville Cardinals, uh, what are the conferences that are going to be in the Independence Bowl next year? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I tried it. I tried, Art. I tried, man. Uh, hey, hey. hey, that's why. Hey, that's why you're one of the best in the business. That's right, man. I tried to slip that curveball in there on you, but you were too good. You were too good. Hey, I, I, I do want to. I do want to ask though. Uh, what are some of the things that that walk-ons has brought that you know are going to continue into uh, the future? That you know, some of the good ideas that they brought that you definitely want to continue moving forward. Uh, yeah. Well, they came up with the idea for the Mardi Gras preview. Um, which uh, it was a great event, and we had a, such a great turnout for that last year. Unfortunately, the weather kind of dampened that. But um, they were they were really instrumental in kind of um, setting it up for us. And they brought you know they brought one of their floats that they used in the New Orleans Mardi Gras parades up here, and they got some of the local crews involved. Uh, so you know that will continue and, and be a big thing for us, and especially for fans that hear about Mardi Gras that are you know from uh, across the country sure. that come in and see that and that that's. We've gotten nothing but great, great feedback uh, on that event, as well as the block party and how we incorporate the Mardi Gras parade into the block party, uh, like we did last year. Um, we've gotten good feedback on that. So, so those two events have really enhanced the experience, not only locally but for the fans that come into town. Uh, well, I'm on record, and I told you this to your face uh, at our at the black tie event at Roy's uh, yes. uh, wedding gala. Um, I'm on record as saying I want the Sun Belt, the American Athletic Conference, and Conference USA, but only West Divisions. So <laughs> if y'all can get that done, I would appreciate that. Call it the Netherton plan if you want to. It will be, it will be absolute gangbusters for the bowl. That's just the, my plan, and I hope you're able to implement it. Well, no, it's on the agenda. It's the Netherton plan. Uh, we've got that listed. It's been duly noted. Uh, we will, we, it will be up for discussion. Uh, all right, and who are the who are the conferences for next year again? Uh, uh, like I can tell you, this year it's the <laughs> ACC and the SEC. I'm really excited about that. All right, I love you, brother. Thank you so much for coming on, man, and uh, and best of luck with the search for the new title sponsor. And we can't wait to hear what conferences actually will be playing in next year's bowl. All right, thanks, Patrick. Thanks, Rogers. All right, Art Carmody, Independence Bowling. That's-